Hello and welcome to Rainy Day Crafting. Okay, I'm still sort of doing a bit of sort of New Beginnings Easter theme a little bit. And if you have been watching my videos, I have been using these that I made as Easter eggs. And this is sort of one of the last ones around. And I thought, Do you know what? I'm still going to use that up. So um, I'm actually going to pop this through. This is just like a little Easter egg die. Okay, so I'm just going to... Um, I probably should have done a few earlier, but I'm just going to pop that through quickly. I only need a couple of eggs, to be fair. So I always use an old bit of scrappy cardboard in between as well. It's a combination because I think my little machine here... Oh, hang on. It's going to be just a little bit um, too wide for that. So let's cut a bit off. Oh, I've probably done it so I can't get maximum stuff out, but there you go. I want to do a couple of eggs. I've only got that one little die, so you put it through a couple of times. So it doesn't take long. Okay. There's one pokey tool or a pin to pop them out. Like I say, this is that's quite nice. I mean, okay, it's not that realistic, I suppose, as an egg, is it? Um, I wonder if I can actually get the... Do you know what? I'm going to get the three out of there. Because how I'm going to tuck them, I'm going to, I'm basically going to be doing birds in a nest. Or eggs in a nest, I should say. Right, let's just do that again. Another one there. It's a bit missing there, but I don't mind that. Because of when I position them, we can sort of lose the shape. So I can actually then get three eggs out of this little piece. Okay, bit of cardboard on, off we go again. So out of that sort of little um, bit of metallic colouring I did, I've, I've made quite a few cards of that. That might be able to use, so I should put it to one side as a possibility. So now they're the eggs that basically are going to go in the nest. And I want to sort of show you how sometimes it's a little bit sort of about sort of thinking outside the box um, and what you've got. I've got a bird die here. Okay, which to be fair, I could just put that straight on the card, couldn't I? You've got a lovely die, but I want to do something a bit different. But I want to use what I'd got a little bit. So I'm going to just show you what I'm going to do with this first of all, because I'm going to cut it down. But rather than, um, um, probably that's all right on there, as long as I use this, I've got to use a dobber and oh, I need a woody color. Sorry, hold on, just get one of my. Espresso is quite, quite a nice colour. Okay, because I just want to do this ground espresso. These are distressed dyes. And I just want to sort of give that a little bit of a, a sort of rustic look. Don't want to sort of make it um because I'm gonna be cutting them birds off actually. You might be thinking, oh, what a waste, because it's a lovely little die, which it is. But I want to use it for something else. Perfect. Right. While that's drying, because, yeah, I'm just going to put that to one side. That's there. That can go out of the way again for now. So... Where I was saying earlier, or a minute or two ago, about sort of thinking outside the box, this is how I sort of keep a lot of my bits and pieces. Um, oh, sorry, you don't need that. I, oh, just, just to show you how you sometimes, you know, thinking out what, what they were for to start with. But this is meant to be, like in the farmyard things, a haystack. And so I did cut one out earlier, although I'm not actually using it now. And I thought, actually... You know, where that would be going on the back of the tractor, wouldn't it look totally authentic there? Sorry, I do go off on a tangent sometimes. But actually, that could be the makings of a nest. But that might be for another card, but I'm not actually doing that one today now. So I'll pop that out of the way. So it's just sometimes looking at stuff. But this is where I, it brings me to where I've got a load of leaves. OK, I've done them loads earlier rather than spend lots of time on this. But this sort of paper... I've cut some out of these um, and there's this sort of bit of brown which I cut a little bird out of. I don't know what I've done with them now. Okay, 
So these are sort of some of my scrappy bits that I kept. This was some blending sort of I did with different things that actually end up being a bit of a mess. But I kept it because I thought it's still okay. Because look, we've actually got, I think, quite a nice little bird out of that. So that I've done there too. And now just to show you, here's where, which I'm like, oops, now going to use, a lot of these leaves cut out. All right, so I'm going to do my typical six for six sort of size card. But like, um, if I just try and sort these out, these are all, um, all the sort of greeny ones. They're sort of bits and pieces. But often I find when I start a card, sometimes I start doing something that leads me to almost my next plan of a card. And this is exactly what happened here. So this will all make sense very shortly. So little bird I've already done. I might actually make him um so he's a bit shiny how do you do that you may ask is literally we pop i don't do this very often or not on here so let me just get a bit of scrappy paper or something mm, i don't use that i always like to, i usually have lots of scrappy paper around and typically now oh here's a piece i'll do so what i would do this is versimark a stamp pad basically it's a sticky stamp pad so you just literally yeah pop that on there and then with some tweezers take it off because that's now sticky lid on to save it drying out and then remember when you do some clear embossing it totally picks up the colour on whatever it is you had before. So you can sort of dip it in there, shake off the excess. I used to have a different box, and I got, where did I pick this up from? I think in Sainsbury's or somewhere. And I thought, actually, that's better than the one I've had for years. So, so now, hot gun on this. I'm hoping I can, if I just hold it down on there, so I don't, I don't want it to do anything else. Okay, you should see it, hopefully, just go a bit sheeny. There she goes. Unfortunately, I'm doing it on this, and that sort of pick up, as you can see, the little leaves there. Now, if you wanted to build this up and make this a bit more 3D-ish, a little bit... Still wet it now. You could keep dip, keep dipping it in the box, and that would build it up a bit. Okay, that's lovely. Let's put that to one side because this is going to be on the side. Although actually, for size-wise, my eggs are a tad big compared to the bird. But there you go. <laughs> So, so it's authentic-ish. <laughs> anyway, back to the card in question. Just want to make sure I haven't got any sort of sticky stuff around. What I was then going to do, like I say, I always like to lay out more or less what I'm going to be doing with my card in the first place. So this should be nice and dry now. So with my little scissors. Sorry, birds, they're going. Might keep them because they might come in handy for something else. You can do it quite. Because but because I want to put eggs in, I thought it's no good having already little birds that are already um there because um I only use scrap card to do that on. Let's take the mummy one away with her worm. Could be daddy. Um, okay. So there we've already got and I'm gonna be putting that sort of there. So it's sort of given as you know where the tr where the bird's going to be. So that's then It's going to go there. And this is what I was saying. If I didn't do that, you know, if you haven't got this die, for example, and you've got maybe a leaf. Sorry, I'm saying I'm being a bit bitty here, but this will all come, come together. Where was the um, die I had? But any of your leaves you've got, you know, they'll all sort of intermingle, won't they? But this one did really well because I was just fiddling, doing some more of my leaves with sort of scrappy bits and pieces. And I just, just happened to how they sort of fell together. I don't know how well you can sort of see this on here 
and I just thought oh my goodness it's like a lovely little nest to start with you know and when the birds make their nests don't they they sort of all bits and pieces so this was where I was thinking I could sort of tuck them in to make it make it fit leaving it nice and open so it's a sort of decent size nest this is where do you know i might actually although i've got that other one i might even leave it like this actually um although it won't be as if it'll be like it's hanging in midair won't it won't, uh, won't it need some sort of support from the tree doesn't it so this is where i was thinking can you see you've got almost the 3d effect already so i just hold that together over there hold that thought she says and that will be going underneath so that will su support on top but you know i often do i like to do whatever my sentiment is first although no actually this time no we won't let's come let's, let's break the record sarah um so this is then going to go on here it's a bit, a bit of glue on the back So you could obviously, if you've got a die of this nature, just use the die as it is. But I wanted to do a bit more. Make sure your card's open in the way you want it to. That I'm going to have it so it's just hanging off there. So then, basically, it will, um, I'll cut that piece off. So it looks like it's coming straight onto the card. So we've already got that. Now, with this. My plan was to lay those. So you're not going to see an awful lot of the branch behind, are you? But that you could that sort of puts it together, yeah. Yeah, which would make it look so for this. But because of the eggs, we might have to... No, we can tuck them in afterwards. So what I'm going to do now is just literally pop a bit of glue where, wherever it, it goes. Okay, which is okay. I hope it won't be too messy. But that will sort of allow the different bits to stick together. Turn it over in the same way if you can. And then... Pop that down. You know, I often say, it's okay, I'm time limited now, put something weighty on it to sort of hold it in place. But if you know, if you now want to fiddle more and tuck a few more bits and pieces in, um, that's absolutely fine, entirely up to you. Okay, so that's my little nest. We could put a bit more in there, maybe a few more brownie bits, whatever, a few odd leaves. Actually, I've got some, some of these I did earlier. We could sort of Pop a few, few of these in different places too, um, which, you know, you can leave them standing out a little bit. So, now for the eggs. Remember that one, we've only got like half an egg. That's absolutely fine because we can put it at the back and cover these. There, so let's pop one in like that maybe. And... That one there will be none the wiser. That's minus a piece. <laughs> and then then one there. Not not the most authentic looking colours, I suppose, are they? But there we have. Okay. Now I think we need to have that little bird. Those little legs are there. We could change the colour of them if you want to. So they show a bit more, but it's absolutely fine like that. So let's pop pop a bit of colours actually of um, the eggs. You can't see them ever so well. Maybe it could have been doing brighter, but I often don't like to introduce too many extra colours. But anyway, see what you think. So I'm going to pop there so 
it looks like it's sort of coming back to the nest like i say arguably it's further away so with a bit of luck it'll look a little bit more authentic now we can literally pop a few of these in at different places to sort of change the color of a bit but this this again is from some of the um acrylic that i used earlier oh like, like i said i cut um cut a few bits and pieces out of those different colors because i was i was doing a plan to do a different to what i done but this is me all over changed my mind again i wanted to sort of get a tuck underneath so it looks like a sort of part of the tree i like the idea it's a little bit 3d the only thing you've got to be careful is you don't want it to be that you know it falls off because i know i say this over and over again you know it'd be a bit annoying to the recipient wouldn't it if um the bits fell off so i'd almost be tempted i have got some up on my shelf some spray glue and put on the top because that would probably keep it all in place i might try this after this so again i'll be putting that on there so we are nearly done now just for a change i'm going to do it the sentiment afterward because i often do my sentiments um oh, this miscellaneous one i want to use oh it's this one um easter reminds us i don't know which one to do actually um if i've got a die and a stamp I often keep them in something like this together because you know when you look at that you'll never remember what they were to do with so may the new life of spring bring you joy now that's quite lovely isn't it so you see that could go there but just for a change let's just do this on a block spare a bit of card i'm going to do it on this that i've already got It's always worth doing it a couple of times. Oh, it's quite nice. And now you can now skip the next bit totally. But I like to still pop it into my embossing powder purely because I just love the shine that it creates. okay so i know you've seen me do this a load of times and some videos i i have it all ready because i think you know you don't need to see it over and over again but i love the magic of when it changes look um lovely okay so back to the card you know i suddenly thought oh did we do the card where um to make sure it was going to open where it go now you see that would fit on there quite lovely wouldn't it so i'm gonna i'm not ever so good at doing these totally straight but here you go the longer scissors there's no doubt about it do help think that's fairly let's have a little look this is what happens sometimes i start thinking oh no i'll just take another piece off another piece off and the next thing there's nothing left not too bad you see ah you see you could pop that pop it so it's like coming out of there i'm going to pop it there <laughs> she says Okay, let's turn this over. And you've got a spare one, which I will keep for another time. I 
And there you have, I think, quite, oh, hang on, not quite finished. Turn it over, the bits that, remember, were hanging off, just to make it look as authentic as possible, as opposed to just a branch hanging out of anywhere. And there we have another card. You can fiddle and put a few more bits and pieces in if you want, you know, like, um, this is where sometimes when I finish a card, I fiddle a bit more. But just by putting a bit of glue and stick these in there. But like I say, I might put some spray down there or put a bit more glue on these to make sure. But I actually like the effect. As long as, you know, if you sort of shake it and it doesn't fall off with a bit of luck, it's, it's glued enough. But so till the next time, hope you like. If you do like, subscribe, then you'll always catch my videos. Thank you very much for watching. Cheers.